It is Monday, November 2nd, and this is your English instruction for today. Hopefully you had a fantastic Halloween weekend and you stayed safe in the time you had. Hopefully you got some sweets in you, whether it's from family or from trick-or-treating safely. We're going to break down what we talked about in class today on Monday and the project slash assessment that we're kind of starting together as a class. So this is the document that was posted this morning that we worked on in class and that you'll be able to work on at home. It is covering the same information that we kind of talked about last week with the Salem Witch Trials. So we're kind of continuing on with that idea of information in the past and the, the possibility of myths and legends. So what we're going to do for our next essay is we're going to be writing a compare and contrast essay about a legend or myth found within the world and the truth behind it. So for example, one myth in American history is that witches were burned at the stake during the Salem witch trials. Now, after reading what we did in class and doing that research that we did last, I think, Tuesday over the Salem Witch Trials, we know that that is actually false. We know that no one was actually burned at the stake for being a witch. It was mostly hangings or they died in prison or a couple people were smashed with like rocks, but no one was ever burned at the stake. So that's technically a myth about the Salem Witch Trials. So you're going to have the free choice of choosing a myth or like an urban legend of your own choice. After you've selected what topic you want to research, you need to run it by me for approval. Reason being is I need to make sure it's something that you can find enough information about online and just to make sure that it's school appropriate. There's a few of them that are kind of a little bit too violent, I guess I could say would be a fitting word. So we'll play by ear. So at the bottom of this video is where you're going to comment what you plan on researching as your myth or legend and then i can go back in and comment down there if i approve it with like a like or i can send you a quick message down there so be sure to comment on this video at the bottom on google classroom not on youtube that is do it on google classroom so once you are have been approved and you're starting your research over the myth or legend that you are you're going to use this document, which looks incredibly familiar to the research document that we used last week over the Salem Witch Trials. So for your myth, you'll put the myth part of your information on the left-hand side. So for example, if I was doing Salem Witch Trials burning at the stake, I would find all the information I could talking about how witches were burned at the stake, apparently, at the Salem Witch Trials. And I'd find at least three sources to show that that would go here on the left-hand side. In the main idea column, I'm going to summarize what the article was about that I got my information from. And then for quotation or paraphrase, that's simply going to be like one quote from the text that I could use in my essay as like specific textual evidence. And then as always, source of information is the link for where you got it from. So you can always find the information and sources at your leisure. On the right hand side of the column, is where the reality is going to happen. So if I was talking about the Salem witch trials and burning witches at the stake, all my information talking about how witches were burned at the stake or supposedly burned at the stake would go on my left side. All my correct information, so the truth behind the myth, would go on the right side. So I could include the story from the text over the Salem witch trials if I chose to do this topic. I could then talk about some of the internet sites that we read last week that talked about how people died because due to the Salem Witch Trials, not through burning, but through other means. And that kind of stuff would all go on the right hand side under reality. My goal is for you to have this filled out by the end of the day on Tuesday. So that way you can begin drafting the body paragraphs with a little bit of instruction for the compare and contrast essay we're building towards. So make sure to comment on Google Classroom at the bottom of this link. What topic you plan on researching so I can approve it there. Have a great rest of your day.